In this video, we are going to see how to convert Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinate. And in the Cartesian coordinate system, we know that the the we have x and y values given. Like x and y is the Cartesian coordinate, where we have x and y uh, value it could be either positive or negative. And same way, when we are converting to the polar coordinate, r and theta. What that R mean? R is the radius of the circle and theta is the angle. If I just show you uh, that in the graphical way that it is, let's say this is our x, y plane. Okay, that's x and this is our y. And we are saying that this is our, uh, uh, the point, let's say this is our point, which is um, x, y, x, y point, right? And now, this x, we know that this is basically if you just go up to x here and then if you go perpendicular distance y, that is giving us x, y point. The point is moving a circle with the radius r. What is r? This is the r, the distance from the origin. So now, this point is r theta and if I write down the polar coordinate, it is polar coordinates r and theta. So r is the radius where the points is rotating on the circle, the circle radius, and then theta is the angle is creating with the x-axis. And as you know that when the theta we are counting in the anti-clockwise direction, theta is positive. So in this case, we are considering it's a positive theta. Now, from this one, when I'm saying that it is uh, is circle, but I'm not drawing that circle for the polar coordinates, right? Now, if you look at the right angle triangle here, you can make the relation between x, y, and r and theta. Because if you use the Pythagoras theorem, which is r square equal to x square plus y square, and then you can get easily r, which is r equal to uh, square root of x square plus y square. So this is the one formula to get the r if we know x and y. Now, how to get theta? Theta, you can just, if you look at the trigonometric function, tan theta, opposite over adjacent, and in this case, opposite is y. So we can just write down tan theta equal to y, and adjacent will be x. So tan theta will be y over x. And then theta will be tan inverse y over x. So these are the two equations can help us to get the, um, the polar coordinates if the Cartesian coordinates given. So let's say we have an example like 2 and 3 is the Cartesian coordinate and we are trying to convert it to the polar coordinate, okay? Now, we can just say, okay, what is r? r equal to square root of three, 2 square plus 3 square. And if I just uh, use that 4 plus 9, which is square root of 13. And if I use calculator, square root of 13, square root of... 13 it is giving us 3.6 units so 3.6 centimeter or meter or whatever right it's the distance now theta 10 inverse uh, y over x as we know here y over x and if you use that y over x it is 3 over 2 and which gives us uh, 56 56.3 degree okay if you put shift 10 3 over 2 56.3 degree so now if i just want to see where actually this point locating uh, you can easily see that 2 and 3 is somewhere 2 and 3 is somewhere in this coordinate right so we know that the point is sitting there so we just need to know what is that r and what is that theta and we already found the theta is equal to 56.3 uh, so it means 2.23 the Cartesian coordinate, you can write down the polar coordinate, which is r is 3.6, and then theta will be 56.3 degree. Okay, now let's look at another example. If we have a minus 2, and uh, probably I can just use the different colors, so minus 2 and 3, and I'm asking to convert it to the polar coordinate, and in that case, a case I can write down r equal to square root of uh, minus 2 square plus 3 square and it is giving actually the same value which is uh, square root of 13 and which is 3.6 right and if you go for theta it is again 10 inverse y over x so 3 over minus 2 
and if you do that in calculator you probably get the same answer with a negative value 56.3 degrees so shift 10 minus 2 over 2 56.3 degree negative 56.3 degree so now the issue is um, you we know that that our if I just just write down that while it is sitting uh, you know that minus 2 3 so minus 2 and 3 is somewhere in the second coordinate the point is sitting somewhere there so in the second coordinate but if you look at minus 56.3 you can say sir the minus 56.3 is the angle with the ne uh, clockwise direction from the ear so this is the one we can say uh, sorry so this is the one we can say that minus 56.3 minus 56.3 because we are going to the clockwise direction minus 56.3 so there there should be a point but it is not the case uh, we know already the point is sitting there so how we can reach there actually it is if you because we are looking for the angle this one we are looking for the angle this one which is theta and you know that this is making the radius which is 3.6 and with the positive x-axis it's making theta so how to Go, find the theta and as you know that this is the point 56.3 that one will be you can get theta by just adding 180 so 180 if you add with the minus 56.3 then the rest you will get um, 180 minus 56.3 will give you 123 123 point seven degree so it mean and from the beginning when we had a Cartesian point we know that the point is located in the second coordinate so we can easily decide what would be the correct um, angle for that 